tau overflows sudden transformation remember sudden transformation does not mean that you are not to do anything and that you are simply to wait for the sudden transformation to happen then it will never come this is the puzzle when i say or someone else says that enlightenment is sudden we think that if it is sudden nothing can be done that we must simply wait when it will happen it will happen so what can be done or what can one do if it is a gradual process you can do something but i say to you that it is not gradual and yet you can do something and you have to do something that something will bring you very close to the phenomena of enlightenment but that something will not bring you to enlightenment that something will make you open for the phenomena of enlightenment to happen so enlightenment can be an outcome of your efforts no it is not through your efforts you simply become available for the higher law of levitation your availability will come through your effort not enlightenment you will become open you will become non resistant you will become cooperative for the higher law to work and once you are cooperative and non resistant the higher law starts functioning your efforts will yield you your efforts will make you more and more receptive let me explain you are sitting in your room with closed doors the sun is outside but you are in darkness you cannot do anything to bring the sun in but if you simply open the door your room becomes available you cannot bring the sun in but you can block it out if you open your doors the sun will enter the waves will come the light will come into the room you are not really bringing the light you are simply removing the obstacles the light comes by itself understand this deeply you cannot do anything to reach enlightenment but you can do many things to hinder it from reaching to you you are creating many barriers so so you can only do something negatively you can throw the barriers you can open the doors the moment the doors are open the rays will enter the light will touch you and transfer transform you all efforts in this sense is to destroy and remove the barriers not to attain enlightenment all effort is negative it is just like medicine the medicine cannot give you health it can only destroy your symptoms that causes disease once the disease are not once the symptoms is gone disease is not there health happens you become available if disease is there health cannot happen that is why medical science eastern or western has not yet been able to define what health is they can define each disease exactly they know thousands of diseases 
but and they have defined they know thousands of diseases and they have defined them all but they cannot define one single phenomena what health is at the most they can say that when there is no disease you are healthy but what is health something which goes beyond the mind it is something which is there you can have it you can feel it but you cannot define it so is the case with enlightenment so is the case with bliss you can have it you can feel it you can realize it but you cannot define it you have known health but can you define it you have realized health you have experienced moments of bliss can you define these or explain what it is the moment you try to define you will have to bring disease and the problems in you will have to talk something about disease and you will have to say no disease is health this is ridiculous to define health you need disease and disease has a definite quality health also has its own qualities but they are not so definite because they are infinite you can feel them you can realize them when health is there you know it is there but what is it diseases can be treated and destroyed barriers are broken and light enters similar is the phenomena of enlightenment similar is the phenomena of bliss it is a spiritual health enlightenment and bliss is a spiritual health mind is a spiritual disease and meditation is something like medicine and meditation is nothing but medicine buddha is said to have said i have i am a medicine man a physician i am not a teacher i have not come to give you doctrines i know a certain medicine which can cure your diseases and do not ask about health take the medicine destroy the disease and you will know what health is do not ask about it buddha says i am not a metaphysician i am not a philosopher either also i am not interested in what god is in what soul is in what kaivalya or liberation or aloneness is or nirvana is i am not interested at all in such things i am simply interested in what the disease is and how it can be cured i am a medicine man his approach is absolutely psychological and scientific when you see in response to something that you are to write that this is not the words of buddha instead these are the words i am purely taking at psychological and scientific basis such is the approach of buddhas buddha says my approach is absolutely psychological and scientific krishna's approach is both scientific and psychological he has diagnosed human dilemma and disease that arjun was suffering with his approach is absolutely right such is the situation of all the awakened ones 
the moment awakening dawns you your approach becomes scientific and psychological destroy the barriers thinking is the basic barrier when you think a barrier of thoughts is created between you and the reality a wall of thoughts is created and thoughts are more dense than even the stone wall can be and then there are many layers of thoughts you cannot penetrate through them and see what the real is you go on thinking about what the real is and you go on imagining what the real is and the real is here and now waiting for you if you become available to it it will happen to you you go on thinking about what the real is but how can you think about it if you do not know you cannot think about something which you do not know you can only think about something which you already know thinking is repetitious and tautological it never reaches to anything new or unknown through thinking you never touch the unknown you only touch the known and this is meaningless because you already know it you can go on feeling it again and again you may enjoy the feeling but nothing new comes out of it stop thinking dissolve thinking and the barrier is broken then your doors are open the light can enter and once light enters you know that the old is no more you know now that which you are is absolutely new it never was before and you had never known it but you may even say that this is the ancient most it was there always not known to you you can use both expressions they mean the same you can call it the ancient most the brahman who has always been there the consciousness and you can say that you were missing it continuously or you can say that this is the most new that which has happened only now and never was before that too is right because for you this is new if you want to speak about truth you will have to use paradoxical expressions the upanishad says this is new and this is old simultaneously this is the most ancient and this is the most new it is the far and near both but but then language becomes paradoxical and contradictory so this is it the approach of an awakened one is both psychological and scientific and of for now